Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial video. In this video I'll be working on a drawing of smoke and it'll be the kind of smoke that you can see coming from a candle or a cigarette. Um, I did upload a video like this a while ago but there was an issue and in the end the video had to be taken down which is really frustrating. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I worked on another drawing like this uh, and another video and I really hope the video helps out in some way. In terms of the equipment, I'm using a mechanical pencil with HP LEDs on smooth Bristol board paper, but please don't worry too much about the equipment you're using, as long as you have a pencil and paper in front of you, you'll be fine. I also really recommend using a blending stick for this drawing, as it really helps with the smoothing of the shading, and it's something that I actually ended up using a lot for this drawing. Um, instead of a blending stick, if you don't have one, you could use a brush or a cotton bud. I started off by sketching some very basic lines going upwards and then added some very basic shading going between them, making sure to use the blending stick to help smooth that shading. I like to think of drawing smoke like this, like drawing ribbons, so it's folding and changing with the airflow. Um, it would look kind of weird if the smoke was just a straight line, and it's just nice to have all these ripples and effects, it just makes the drawing more interesting to look at. In the areas where the ribbons of smoke overlap, that's where you add some extra shading, and this is really effective in making it look like the smoke is transparent, and it really adds to the levels and layers of the drawing. The awesome thing about working on a drawing of smoke, or anything like this, is that there's no specific or exact way it's meant to look. You can have some references in front of you to get some ideas and inspiration, but in reality, every image of smoke you'll ever see is always going to be unique and different, and that's the great thing about it. It gives you the freedom to give all these different and interesting shapes. At the bottom of the drawing the smoke is much narrower and is much more like a column and that's because the smoke at the bottom of the drawing is much hotter and is rising faster and then as it cools down the smoke starts to group together and bunch up into a wider formation. Um, so the the basic idea of this is to start off the drawing much narrower and then as the smoke cools down it bundles up towards the top of the drawing. For this drawing, I decided not to plan ahead, and I decided not to create all of the outlines first. I wanted to be more natural and relaxed with it. I felt like that would be a better way to approach this, because otherwise the lines would end up looking a lot more awkward um, and just less natural. Um, so I just I, I worked on each section as I came to it, and was ju just approached this in a much more relaxed way. For every section of the smoke, I started off by adding a very thin layer of shading, and then I built up from there, adding some darker outlines where the smoke overlaps with other ribbons of smoke, um, and then adding some extra shading in those cross sections, um, and also in areas where the smoke completely folds over itself, that's where I added some extra shading and then blended outwards with the blending stick. I was also using a small eraser to clean up the edges as I went along, keeping the lines nice and sharp. Um, having these sharp ribbons of smoke against the white background of the paper is extremely effective and it really makes that smoke pop out from the background. I highly recommend trying out a drawing like this, it's extremely fun and it's really relaxing to work on. So you start off by getting some really basic outlines down of the next section, then you fill it in with some really basic shading. Um, from there you start adding some extra shading to kind of develop the shape and get an idea of the way it folds, and then you start adding the darker outlines to really show up the definition of the shape and the way it's all moving. Um, you have complete freedom in a drawing like this to create the, sh the shapes of the smoke however you want them. Uh, that's why I really enjoy working on it. It's also a nice idea to leave some of the outer edges without any darker outlines and in some cases just lighter outlines or even just blurred out outer edges um, with the blending stick. This is because it adds to the dynamic shape of the drawing and this is really effective in making your drawing look a lot more realistic. Just continue to refine the details of those ribbons of smoke, and then maybe towards the top of the drawing start to change the thickness of these ribbons. Um, in my drawing I decided that I wanted to have these really thick areas of shading that were much lighter, but they also tapered and faded towards the outer edges of the paper. Um, I felt like this is a really good way of making the drawing kind of centralised and it, it 
made sure that there weren't any areas of shading that just abruptly stopped. Um, I liked having the it kind of fade outwards because it kind of centralizes the image and makes the focus it makes you focus on the center part of the drawing, which is that really uh, detailed area of smoke. It's a very fun type of drawing to work on, with there not being so many rules or guidelines, it's just a very relaxed way of working. Smoke is just always moving and changing with the airflow, and this is a very abstract drawing to work on. Uh, it's so much fun, and I highly recommend trying it out. I really hope this video helps out in some way, and if you do work on a drawing like this, then feel free to show me your work on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. I'd absolutely love to see. If you enjoy videos like this, then make sure you're subscribed, and any likes or shares are hugely appreciated, and it really means a lot to me. If you want to follow along with my progress photos and keep up to date with everything I'm working on, then be sure to check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for the support on this channel, I really hope this video helps out in some way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.